I think like uh, most guys um, in the world, I don't think this is unique to any part of the world or, or any type of guy. I think that most guys in the world, if they had the opportunity to have more, they would do it. So we live in a world today where it's now possible. And I think that, uh, you know, I think we're all very fortunate and very blessed, quite frankly, that uh, Dr. Loria has taken on this initiative to make it so, um, you know, to you know, make this quite frankly a work of art, and and uh, you know, give guys this opportunity to have something that we've never had in all of our history, you know, and only here now in the past ten years or so has this really been made possible, and it's real, and it works. You know, it's not so much that you are lacking in that area, or you know, I, mean, I, I wasn't in my case. You know, some men are, but but I, that wasn't where I started. I didn't start from a lacking standpoint, but there was the op opportunity to have. To, to be better than than what I had. So in my case, it was a long time ago, but I very remember very vividly and very clearly the mental anguish, you know, that, that goes into the decision-making process um, and, and always feeling like, you know, this could be better, you know, why isn't, you know, what can I do to make this better? You know, there's all these different options in the world that don't work. This does, and it does hands down. And, and it's going to work. So it's not, it's not a guessing game. It is a matter of fact, it is going to work. And, um, and, and you know, the, 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 again, again, the mental and the, you know, emotional side of that for men is massive. Um, we're talking about depression. We're talking about, you know, the, the things that go on in a guy's head uh, re regarding, regarding that main subject, right? Our main part of our body, the thing that makes us a man, you know. Um, it's a big deal. I see this no different than, uh, you know, a female that, that wants to do something with their breasts or want to have more, you know, if they feel that that makes them feel better, that's what it's all about, you know. There may be certain guys, certain circumstances where that's medically necessary, but um, for the most part, it's for guys to make them feel better. And quite frankly, um, I think it's a big deal. I think it's really important, um, not just from the physical perspective of it, but uh, the mental pers uh, side of it. All of us want a better version of ourselves, right? Uh, it, for one, one aspect or the other, whether if it's not a physical thing, you know, it's a, it's a mental thing. You know, you want to get better at school. You know, we always want to make, make ourselves better in any way that we can. Well, this is a solution for that part of our body to make us better. There was not a pain factor so much for me. I'm not saying that no guys feel pain with this, but, um, you know, I just happen to have a really high tolerance for pain. I always have. That was not a big deal for me at all. So there's a process and you do have to do what the doctor tells you to do in this, you know, couple of weeks after, after the uh, procedure is done. Uh, and uh, I tell people all the time, do what he's telling you to do. If he wants you to send pictures, you send the pictures. You do what he's telling you to do, you'll get through it, no problem. Um, now the emotional side of it, you know, getting away from just the physical parts of it, and that's, you know, mostly your first couple of weeks. Not to say that there isn't a little bit more down the road, but, you know, the first couple of weeks is where you're going to be mostly focused on, you know, getting, doing the right things, um, following the procedure we're talking about. But beyond that, uh, the emotional side of it is enormous. One of the things that I think are, is phenomenal about this is that when I, when I walk in the door, the first thing my wife looks at now is down there, and I want to say to her, "Hey, my eyes are up here." You know, very similar to the to the the old. Uh, I don't even know what the word it would be, but you know, women, women would would often say when guys are looking at their breasts, "Hey, my my eyes are up here." So I do that to my wife when I walk in the door. It's very funny, um, and <clears throat> you know, and this has been a long time. So uh, you know, for me in my in my case, it's been a lot of years, and it's still the case. So. It, you know, hasn't gotten old for my wife, so, you know, it's not like it's uh, just the nostalgia of the moment either. So I think that's very important, too. It's not just something you're doing that's just going to wow for the moment. It's, it wows for an awfully long time. When I had this done, I had already been married 14 years by this time. And, you know, what every guy hates is what I call shrivel dick. Okay, that's, that's what, yeah, I don't know if it happens to every guy, but I think it happens to most. And every, no, nobody, uh, every, every guy is uncomfortable with that. So at, even at 14 years of marriage, 
coming out of the shower. I mean, I didn't want to do that in front of my wife unless I had a chub on prior to surgery. Well, one of the best things about the surgery is that it's like you have a chub all the time. Okay, it, it's, it's clearly present with you all the time. And that's a huge part of this, this whole thing. It's not like it's erect length all the time. It's not that, but it's always full. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big deal.